Hi guys. Good morning or afternoon. Hope you guys the St. Patrick's Day was okay. It's two days till spring. It's two days till spring. And it's cold out. Just picking up the trash here. But yeah, it's cold out. But flowers are blooming. Flowers are blooming. If you could see, cue the intro. Welcome to Kevin and Jazzy Show. Hi guys, how you guys doing today? I'm doing good. Two days till spring and it's cold, wintry. What the heck? That's our weather today. Oh my god. Leave in the comments, please. If, um, you know, you're ready for spring because it's like two days till spring and stuff. And also, please leave in the comments what you did on St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Um, but man, it is freezing. It's supposed to be like snow and rain and sleet all day and all night and ruin my morning. Because I go somewhere in the morning every Monday. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just keeping it quiet. Um, doing my vlog outside instead of it inside. Um, playing Criminal Case because I like that game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that game of Criminal Case. Um, that game's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I like coffee. <laughs> but man, look at these flowers. Wow. They're blooming. There's some right there. There. There and there. Wow. And over here, they're blooming too. Oh, Daffy Duck and Kitties. I know you guys haven't seen those in a while. But yeah, we're just I'm just keeping it quiet. Um, again, watch it a few movies. I want to hatch it too. It's a review that I'm going to do today. And um, also, leave in the comments. I need three comments from you guys. If, well, actually two comments. What you guys did yesterday for St. Patrick's. And if you guys like movies that are based on a true story. Last night, I'm not going to review it because I can't do it. Cause it's, but I'm gonna review Hatchet. It's a, basically about a woman snap with her husband, thinking she's he's running off with somebody. Killed her husband, but told her lies. Um, told her lies, told her children lies, and all of a sudden abusing her children, pimping out her children. One of their oldest daughters was having sex with older men to make money. The other one's abused because she was fat and ugly. Because the mom thinks that and all that. And leave a comments below. It was, I can't remember what movie it was called. I, I couldn't watch it, but I was getting sleepy. But I could not finish watching it. It was, it was wrong. But Hatchet 2 is about um, Crowley. Again, it picks up the after Hatchet 1 comes. And they go back. He's trying to find the family. The girl dead. And then they go... Uh, is really gory because you see somebody go through their skin. He pulls out Crowley pu pulls out this dude and his, and his skin sits there and his whole body muscles and all that is in his hand or somebody gets chopped half um, all the way through. Uh, somebody gets sanded. But my favorite part in that movie, it's but basically it's about the legend and then he and then the girl kills her, kills him and stuff. And because they're a killer's dad, and uh, another group came in, another killing. Like, like it was a legend, was three people set on fire. This girl's dad, the uncle didn't. Uncle did, but he wasn't there. And this other guy who got his, who his mouth was against the table, and he kicked it, and top of his head moved, and the bottom stayed down, and he blinked. But it was kind of gory, but it was kind of funny. Because at the end, she said, that was not my real father. It was his best friend, his uncle, I meant. The uncle died um, when she was 12. So, but leave a comments below about that, about Hatchet movie. And if you guys like movies that are based on a true story, and some of them are scary, you know, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre is based on Ed Gain. Um, Hannibal Lecter is, you know, a different person and all that, but I didn't like him. 
So, um, thank you for all the subscribers of 2006. I mean, not 2006, 206 subscribers. Um, I have links below to um, you to follow. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Kevin and Jazzy. Kevin is me and Jazzy is my cat. Salem and the uh, person who does my intros is Random Crazy Fun, a.k.a. Kevin Spread. And I want to thank you again, Jesse Pipkins, because he picked me for the contest. And I just want to say thank you again. I usually never win. Um, hope you guys subscribe for tomorrow. Awesome. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you guys when I see you later. Love y'all.